Striker is one of the hardest class to build. Reason is the same as War Dancer. It requires a lot of collectibles like wealth runes, high tripod levels for orb gain, and combat stats to back it up. Newer players tend to have problems of not being able to use esoteric skills fast enough or feel clunky overall. However, due to this, if users are patient with the class and build it properly with added mechanical skill experience, this class is one of the most rewarding class for your hard work. Due to its extreme difficulty in properly building a class, I have simplified the video as much as I could. The video's goal is to teach you the fundamentals and thought process of this class. In the end, it's really up to the player to determine their playstyle and what they're comfortable with, then build the attributes accordingly to be successful in the game. Let's go over the skills by importance first. Lightning Whisper, your main synergy skill. The skill is mainly used before your esoteric skill due to its orb generation, and it provides additional crit rate for 6 seconds. This class's fundamental goal is land all your main DPS skills within this buff period. Tripods are set with orb gain, cooldown, and increase additional 10% crit rate. Wealth runes are used here, but the type of rarity is variable, which I'll talk about later in the video. Moon Flash Kick, main orb gain skill, orb gain tripod, cooldown and movement distance, and simpler animation tripod used. Wealth runes are used here as well. So additional quick tip is that if you use it close range, you gain more orbs. Sweeping Kick, main orb skill, tripods are orb gain, additional range and speed, and a tripod that makes the animation much more simpler and not a combo. Wealth runes are used here. Violent Tiger, another orb gain skill. You have a staggered tripod, choice of one or three on animation of the skill, and a cooldown tripod. The third tripod decreases the number of kicks, so it has less orb generation. And the first kick turns into a combo with more orb generation. Sky Shattering Blow, your orb generation skill, which is also a counter and also providing buffs. There's the movement tripod and the buff tripod and the orb gain increase tripod as well. Wealth runes are used here. Storm Dragon Awakening, your main movement skill, mostly leveled up to seven or four. Movement distance tripod or damage tripod if at level seven. Any buff related runes like rage is used here. So as you can see here, if you use the skill three times, the adrenaline stack will stack to three. There are only few classes that's able to do this. And main esoteric skills are key DPS skills. Esoteric Lightning Tiger Strike. This is Striker's key DPS skills. Some Strikers play this class due to this skill alone. Very satisfying hits with huge damage when played with Deathflow build. Tripods are all damage related. Gilwin runes used here. Esoteric Tiger Emerges. Second most highest DPS skill. Cooldown Tripod. DPS related tripods are used here. And Gilwin rune. Esoteric Blast Formation. Third esoteric DPS skill on high end builds. All damage related tripods are used here with Gale Rune. Esoteric Call the Wind God. Fourth esoteric DPS skill which esoteric builds take. All damage tripods with preference of animation on the third tripod. Gale Wind or any runes can be used here. Striker's goal is to fill up their bubble first, then land their main esoteric skills. It is similar to War Dancer but without the buff timings like Wind's Whisper. If you lack combat stats or insufficient wealth runes, you won't be able to rotate your DPS properly. This is why orb gaining skills are crucial to be set up. As mentioned in the skill covering section, you'll need to land all your esoteric skills within Lightning Whisper's 6 second crit buff. As shown here, this is an example of a Deathblow 3 esoteric skill combo and 2 esoteric skill combo. As for esoteric build, you have to use all of the esoteric skills in succession within 6 seconds as shown here for full efficiency. It is crucial to keep this in mind while watching this video. 1. Main bubble skills need to be used first to fill up the bubble. 2. Lightning Whisper need to be used before esoteric skills. 3. Minimum 2 main esoteric DPS skills need to be landed under 6 seconds. Now let's talk about some engravings. Let's talk about esoteric build first. First, combat stat requires you to be high swiftness due to yourself needing to cycle skills at a much faster pace than deathflow. So you go swift spec to help on the orb game and damage. Now you may question yourself where would you get crit. At item level 1445, Striker goes Relic Set of Hallucination or Entropy Set. They give additional crit rates up to 25% on Hallucination and 20% on Entropy Set. So with Lightning Whisper synergy of 18% plus 20 to 25% set bonus, and if you happen to have Adrenaline for additional 15% as well, you would have 53% to 58% crit without any combat stats. Since beginner users may lack crit due to not having the set, they would have to invest into crit combat stats in the beginning instead of spec. So if you happen to go swift crit because of this, you will need to rely on high tripod levels and wealth runes to cover your orb generation. This is crucial to know before theorycrafting it, so I advise you to test it out in Trixian as well. As for engravings, it is essential to have esoteric at least at level 1 because it lowers your bubble cost. It does not need to be at level 3, there are other choices to go around that as well. With that, you have your damage engravings. Let's talk about some choices that is not Grudge, Curse, Doll, and Keen Blunt. Let's go over them. 
Master of Ambush. All strikers' skills are back attack. This is a very efficient engraving. Increased mass. This is a good engraving for high swiftness class. The speed penalty is almost negated due to high swiftness. Adrenaline. As I went over the skill section, Storm Dragon Awakening gives 3 stacks. Adrenaline is a really good engraving for Striker, because he's the only few class that can achieve 6 stacks before utilizing his main DPS skill, Lightning Tiger Kick. As you can see, Storm Dragon Awakening 3 combo, Sky Shattering Blow for attack movement speed buff, and Lightning Whisper for crit rate buff, and Lightning Tiger Strike will provide full stack efficiency of Adrenaline. So for beginners who are scared of using Grudge, I will suggest Esoteric 1, Master of Ambush, Increase Mass, and Adrenaline for a decent 3-3-3-1. But since Striker has a decent vitality factor, you don't need to be scared. Replace one of these engravings to Grudge for a 20% increase instead of 16 or 18. Playstyle and tweaking is very simple. You are taking either 4 or 3 Esoteric skills. Your goal is naturally to be able to cycle all Esoteric skills in cooldown. You take Lightning Whisper, Storm Dragon Awakening, and Sky Shattering Blow. Now if you take 4 esoteric skills, you have a free slot left of your choice. People usually take Moon Flash Kick due to its decent mobility to gap close, and it has decent orb generation. If you still happen to lack orb generation, you would need to remove one esoteric skill away to add another orb generation skill, like Sweeping Kick or Violent Tiger. If you have proper wealth runes or switch from crit to spec, you would generate enough orbs to freely piano your skills. Just remind yourself to use as many esoteric skills as possible after your Lightning Whisper. Combination at the start would be Storm Dragon Awakening Opening, Sky Shattering Blow, Lightning Whisper to enable your full stack of Adrenaline, then Lightning Tiger Kick to Awakening. You will notice the skills come back on cooldown very quickly, so it is up to you to utilize the right skills at the right time. Esoteric Striker is a very fun build that I would recommend for newer players who like Striker. This build is also highly viable in the final raids in Korea, so please don't assume it's worse than the other build I'm going to talk about now. Now let's talk about Death Blow Striker. Currently, NA cannot play Deathblow properly due to lack of spec, tripods, relic gears for crit support. Let's talk about the theory though, to set yourself for the right goals for people who are planning to play Deathblow Striker. Unlike Esoteric Striker, Deathblow is a burst DPS. All Esoteric skills use all the orbs on cast and deals maximum damage when orbs are full. There are builds that utilize the 2 Esoteric skills and 3 Esoteric skills. This video will only cover the one that uses 2 Esoteric skills because it will make the video too complicated if I cover the one that uses 3 Esoteric skills. You will understand what I mean when I go over some of the basics. Builds for Deathblow Striker is pretty much set in stone. You need as much spec as possible with side stat on crit. This is because spec increases Esoteric damage and impacts orb gain. As for engravings, they cannot use optional damage engravings like Esoteric Striker does like increased mass due to lack of speed. Therefore, level 3 on Death Blow, Master of Ambush with pure damage engravings like Grudge, Keen Blunt, and Cursed Doll are the popular engravings for Death Blow Striker. As for Adrenaline, it is definitely used and you can use it as well, but it's used as last level 1 to min max some crit. The same idea applies to Spirit Absorption as well, to secure some lack of movement speed and attack speed. So in summary, a decent engraving choice would be Death Blow 3, Master of Ambush, and damage engraving of your choice, and Adrenaline level 1. With that being said, let's go over the playstyle. As I explained in the beginning of the video, we have kept this rule in mind. So skill set you take are Lightning Whisper, Storm Dragon Awakening, and Sky Shattering Blow. This is mandatory, and you have two esoteric DPS skills, based on high damage. As for the other three slots, you take Moon Flash Kick, Sweeping Kick, and Violent Tiger to maximize bubble gain. There are optional builds where you can swap Sweeping Kick or Violent Tiger to Sleeping Ascent for additional maneuvers, but let's focus on the basics for now. At minimum 1568 spec with all tripods at max level, yellow wealth rune on move flash kick, purple wealth rune on lightning whisper, and blue wealth runes on violent tiger and sky shattering blow, gale wind rune on sweeping kick results into, sky shattering blow plus lightning whisper will result into 4 bubbles, violent tiger and moon flash kick will result into 4, and moon flash kick and sweeping kick will result into 4 as well. This is where you have a proper build, when majority of the combination skills will result into 4 bubbles for maximum efficiency in your esoteric skills. When build lacks spec or tripods, this is the general rule of thumb to aim for. First, we need to put skills into groups. Group 1 is Violent Tiger and Sky Shattering Blow. Group 2, Moon Flash Kick. Group 3, Sweeping Kick. Group 4, Lightning Whisper. Each group in any combination will have to generate 4 bubbles in total, which means as long as each group can generate 2 bubbles, it should be fine. You will have to find your own combination in Trixian though. For example, let's simulate an NA environment. If I don't have any tripods, I would need at least 1200 spec and all the wealth runes to be able to fill up 2 bubbles in each group of skills. Sky Shattering at blue, Moon Flash Kick at legendary, 
Violet Tiger at purple, Lightning Whisper at purple, and Sweeping Kick at blue. And since all groups will generate two, by combining two groups together, you will be able to efficiently use your esoteric skills. And with set setup I simulated, this will be the game plan. Your first opening is pretty similar. Storm Dragon Awakening, Sky Shattering Blow, Violet Tiger, Lightning Whisper into Lightning Kick. Then you quickly use Sweeping Kick and Moon Flash Kick to finish off your Esoteric Tiger Emerges full combo. This can be an Awakening too. Since you're a burst DPS, you'll have some free time afterwards to prepare for your next combo. It is good to keep an eye out if your support has provided you the buffs for huge boost of damage. Always make sure to fill up two bubbles accordingly and try to finish with Lightning Whisper before any esoteric skills. It may feel slower, but think of your damage gotten concentrated into few skills only. The build becomes significantly easier to manage and powerful the more spec comeback stats you invest and the tripods you level up. Cooldown gems are also a must to cycle through skills faster. As for 3 esoteric skills, think of it as you min-maxed it so far that you can remove 1 orb generation skill to efficiently cycle through 3 esoteric skills. It is definitely a headache to plan it out per character per combat stats, and I respect all the high tier strikers who managed to do this in final raids. With that being said, this concludes the video. Hope this gave you guys some clarity how striker operates. Good luck, and thanks. Bye!